I'm back! Fucking garbage PewDiePie ripoff here. What the fuck is this kid doing? Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm gonna I'm gonna be returning to doing some gaming news. How exciting is that? I mean, it's not like there's already about 10,000 gaming news channels all just basically saying the exact same thing, responding to the same articles with the same clickbait titles and the same thumbnails. It's not like this is an oversaturated market. Yeah, I'm sure I'll do great. I saw this uh, article today and I couldn't not talk about it because I have a bit of a history with this one here. So Overwatch wins China lawsuit over game clones. So there's a few major points here that are pretty big and noteworthy. But first, let's take a trip back. Some of you might remember a few years back when I was covering a lot of Overwatch. Look at this. For like two years straight, all I did was upload Overwatch videos. It's the only thing I did. Look at all these Overwatch videos. What was I thinking? Well, the views were really nice. Yeah, maybe I had maybe I had it figured out. <laughs> Well, one of the things that I just it, it loved highlighting, the clones that came out, like constantly seeing these games churning out these garbage clear ripoffs of Overwatch. It was just, it just kept on happening. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is exactly the Ilios map. This is amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it is exactly the same map. There is basically no difference. The most hysterical thing, but it also like, you know, there's a bit of like, hey, you know, that's kind of shitty. You guys are just copying, ripping stuff off. <laughs> they're, they're not even trying. They just said, fuck it. Oh, never mind. They gave him a sword. This is not the same. This is different. And apparently he also has a charge. Although this, this one like rubber bands or something. That's a little funny. Truth is, a lot of it came out of China. China kind of has a, a reputation with this thing of copying things without much of a concern because, hey, you know what? If we copy something from a different country, but we make that thing better or we just make an equivalent of it and then sell it in our own country, then we don't have to pay for that thing. China has a, a, a bit of a history of doing this. 85 hilarious products from China. China. Get your $5 footlongs at Sandwich. You've heard of Under Armour. Have you heard of Uncle Martin? <laughs> Living the life of luxury with Dolce and Banana. <laughs> Make sure you update the latest version of Michael's Soft Binbos. <laughs> In the States, he might be super. In China, he's just special. Hey, what size iPhone did you need? We've moved past the feudal system. It's not Burger King. It's Burger Madame and Sir. It's the new Harry Potter movie starring Obama and his sidekick Sonic and the number 10. Now, in all fairness, I don't think all of those were from China, but you get the picture. What's really interesting about this is Overwatch is winning this lawsuit against China in China. Basically, a Shanghai court has fined the makers of this game called Heroes of Warfare, which was one of the numerous Overwatch clones that had been released in the years after Overwatch's release and all the success that they saw. It's actually a fairly significant amount as well. So Blizzard and NetEase were awarded about half a million dollars in this copyright infringement case. Again, this was coming out of Shanghai and it was for two games from China's 4399 network and its subsidiary that were accused of copying Overwatch and another globally popular shooter game. This article doesn't specify, but it does talk a bit more about some of these uh, Chinese game clones later on. Now in the court case, they used as evidence basically a side-by-side -side comparison between the two games. And if you take a look here again, the similarities are quite striking. Like, boy, oh boy, this looks really familiar. Like, the overall layout, the color palette, the design of these levels, and it goes beyond the levels. They actually specified here in the article that the ruling found that the Chinese game copied some core elements and designs from Overwatch, which included the character appearance, skills, map routes, and team composition. Not entirely sure what that, maybe it just means the number of players on the team. I remember when looking at several of these, it was pretty blatantly obvious just from a surface level that it was quite clearly a copy. You ready for this? We're gonna play this game together. Name the characters, okay. That might be Widowmaker, but it also kinda looks like sombra E. This is the throwing dagger guy, so he might be Genji. That is literally female McCree. There's Roadhog. This one isn't even attempting to hide the fact that it's just the Halloween event skin of Junkrat. They didn't even change the fucking pose for Mercy. There's 76. There's Winston but they don't like gorillas. 
They love pandas. So there's the panda version of Winston. Ugly Torbjorn, like sci-fi Zenyatta. I guess what's most interesting here is the fact that this is a court case that's taking place in Shanghai. The, the running joke has always been that Chinese companies come out with these games that are quite clearly ripoffs of other games and it extends beyond games, it extends to a lot of different media, just a lot of stuff in general. If for some reason you're not convinced, here's a few pretty clear examples of blatant copying that happens with some of these Chinese games. This is called Genshin Impact. It's a super popular game in China that is quite clearly a ripoff of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's got the cell shaded look, it's an open world adventure game, and it features a warrior who has awakened from a long slumber and journeys to rescue a loved one in an apocalyptic world. Although that's kind of a generic fantasy trope, everything else about this game is just spot on Breath of the Wild. It's even got the stamina gauge, near identical gameplay, a similar interface. It's been pretty clearly criticized as being a copy of that game and it seems like a lot of the Chinese market just doesn't even seem to care. Here's another great example, this one Creative Destruction, the Fortnite clone, features a majority of the weapons, mechanics, UI is pretty similar, they've got the building of ramps and stuff, I, it's just, you know, it's, it's Fortnite but not Fortnite. There's this Rainbow Six Siege knockoff that's a mobile game, it's almost, it, it just is Rainbow Six Siege basically, like I, I don't even no, this one's one of the craziest examples because it's so blatantly Rainbow Six Siege. It's not that it's just very similar. It is Rainbow Six Siege, but it's not. <laughs> because it's called Medal of King. You'll see Chinese companies take something that was developed and made elsewhere, and they will just mimic it and then release their own version of it and not worry about the copyright infringement because again, it's it's in another country. Maybe this is kind of a way for the Chinese government or the court system to kind of lose that image of just blatantly copying things if they're saying, hey, no, no, we're suing people who are quite clearly ripping off other things developed not in China. I just in general thought this was really interesting because frankly, I wouldn't expect something like this to happen. I am not too researched in like the, the history of these copyright infringement lawsuits in China. Maybe this has happened more than I'm aware of, but I think now because this is pushing into just a territory that I'm familiar with, like games and gaming and specifically Overwatch. I spent a lot of time playing Overwatch and I spent a fair amount of time talking about and kind of laughing about like the Overwatch clones that got released. I don't know, with the exception of the Hanzo looking bro, everyone looks to be a fairly unique character. So let's scroll through, get some more. Okay, sure. Sure, yeah, you could say that's Reinhardt. I guess the shield thing is yellow instead of blue, but there's a good resemblance there. We also have a very similar looking UI, at least in terms of the hero health there and the, the counter at the top. But again, it's a mobile game. There's some clear differences. Okay, sh look, that... <laughs> That's basically exactly Ilios, like pound for pound. I think they'd even bother to change the freaking color scheme. Are you kidding me? I just thought it was really interesting to see it was actually a copyright case that worked on behalf of the of the game company that made the original piece. So I went back and checked for the video that I made about this particular game, Heroes of Warfare, and it looks like that lawsuit actually happened a couple years ago. It was in October of 2017 when Blizzard filed the lawsuit in China. So it took them about two years to come to this conclusion and award Blizzard half a million dollars, which is a lot of money, but also if you think about it, it isn't? <laughs> Like, I don't know how much money Heroes of Warfare has made off of pretty blatantly ripping off Overwatch. It's kind of crazy, honestly. But hey, on the plus side, it, it worked out. Law, the, law, the law prevailed. Now, I don't know if a court case like this is gonna make much of a difference. I'm also fairly confident in saying that probably the only reason this is actually happening is because of Blizzard's association with NetEase. I believe that NetEase manages their Blizzard games in that territory. And since NetEase is a Chinese company, that's probably the only reason this is actually happening. I don't know if there would be any copyright infringement cases that would go this way if there wasn't a Chinese company associated with the original game company. Like for example, I don't know if Rainbow Six Siege is gonna win a similar case. Like I don't know if, if Ubisoft has any ties to any Chinese companies personally. But hey, I mean, it's a pretty interesting story really. And I, I really didn't expect something like this to happen. These Chinese game clones, I suppose, if nothing else, they just make for some funny material. <laughs> Cause it's freaking good. It's, it's good stuff, dude. <laughs>